Oh, hello. Welcome to another edition of Cheap and Unreal. Uh, if you watched the last video, you know that I was using the iPhone as a tracking device uh, on top of a camera to uh, match CG elements with live action in Unreal. Uh, I've experimented a bunch more since. I mean, a day and a half of just fooling around with it. And I... I'm not going to say I've given up, but I need to take a break from it because getting the uh, picture to line up perfectly has been difficult. Uh, so I'm not sure how far a uh, production-ready version of the iPhone as a tracker can go. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, but uh, it, like the further I pursue it, the more I'm seeing the walls that you run into. I'm pretty happy with how far I got with the iPhone as a tracker. But uh, c'est la vie. Maybe it's not going to work out. I'll probably try it again in a couple of weeks when I'm bored of toying with all this other stuff. But to get on to the other stuff, I'm going to show you. This is a one-minute short scene. It's not really a film. It's just like two characters talking that I did uh, using motion capture. Uh, one of these guys, this is a Xbox One. You see another one behind me there in a tripod stand. So uh, I motion captured myself doing the actions and then I was using some of the free uh, assets that came in the Unreal Marketplace this month, which are these great city and uh, suburb kind of sets and characters. And they're very low polygon and my idea was maybe I could do some kind of little video game themed uh, series with them. Not sure I'm going to pursue that, but I just wanted to see how far I could take uh, motion capture with a Kinect because I think I was doing it because I see a lot of like cool things online on YouTube that never seem to go anywhere. Somebody will post one or two videos of some software that is really obscure. Like all the software for uh, the Xbox Connect, there's about three programs that takes that data and turns it into motion capture. I'm going to talk about them a little after we watch the film, but uh, there's so little on YouTube of this stuff being used, and you wonder who's using it, but I mean, it's actually being used in games and stuff at times, so I'm not, I'm not sure why there's not more information about it. Uh, anyways, here's that little film. Thought I'd find you up here. Oh, hey. It's a hell of a view. I just like to come out here to think. You know, Dad used to bring me up here and look out over the city and say, one day this is all going to be yours. Every pimp, every pusher, every arms dealer. One day, you'll be in charge of the world's greatest criminal enterprise. I used to hope for this day. Used to want it. Now he's dead and I'm in charge and... I don't know if I'm ready. Huh. That's pretty heavy. Dad never gave me any big speeches like that. Never told me what my place was. Never said what I should do in the business. Did give me one piece of advice though. Oh yeah? What's that? Always watch your back! All right, so uh, that was that. This was really just like a test for me to learn how to use Sequencer because Sequencer, as much as I appreciate that they've put the time into making this thing and that it does a lot of things, it is not easy to learn. I mean, it's not like, it's not like any uh, animation system I've used before. It's not like any editing system I've used before. It's like a bunch of things were jammed together and there's no like, the logic that works in computer animation software and video editing software don't quite line up into this thing. It's like uh, the whole camera tracks thing. It doesn't seem like it makes sense. I'm just complaining. Unreal Engine is magical and it's free. I don't want to complain too much because it is a great tool and it was fun making that little thing. Uh, okay, so back to the uh, Kinect itself. So the great thing about the Kinect and the reason I got it is they're super cheap. Um, I think I paid this one First one I, I spent 40 bucks Canadian on, so like 30 bucks US, and then I ordered an adapter that took like a month and a half to get here. I was just waiting and it was like coming from Hollywood and it got stuck at the border for like two weeks 
And it was so frustrating because I was just dying to get to use it on, on uh, something. And it was like watching the progress not happen on the tracking. But I finally got it. Uh, and then I went on eBay and the second one with the PC adapter, some guy was selling for 10 bucks plus 15 bucks shipping because he didn't know if it worked. So let's get to the three software that I know of that work well with the Kinect. Um, the first you may have heard of is called Breckel, and Breckel, Breckel Body, I think, is the one for the body. And I haven't used it myself, but uh, Breckel makes a suite of depth camera-related uh, software that uses the Kinect to do hand tracking, facial tracking, body tracking, uh, and it looks super cool. I have not tried it yet, though, because the demo only lets you record 10 seconds, so I thought for my purposes... I'm not really doing little action things. I want to do acting of some kind. 125 US, I think, for Reckle Body. But there was another software that seems to have better reviews and like a range of prices, and that's called uh, I, iPiSoft, not IppiSoft. iPi, as in not like the pie you eat, but the pie of the circle. Um, pie the equation. Yeah, so iPiSoft's mocap recorder. Uh, they actually have a range of prices, so if you want to use one Connect with it, you can uh, pay about 195 US to get that. Um, there's a version that lets you use up to two Connect sensors, or like the Azure Connect, which is the new version of the Connect, and uh, other sorts of depth sensors. That one runs anywhere from I think it's hundred dollars to rent it for a month to $400 to get it for a year, and then you could buy it outright for $699 US. So it, it gives quite a range, and it also is just really well-rated, well-regarded. Uh, they've got a great demo reel of stuff that it's been used on, and using it is actually pretty simple when you get into it. It's, it's uh, once you've managed to get your Kinect set up, which is takes a bit of installing drivers and drivers on top of drivers, but once you do that, uh, it was pretty simple to get my first motion capture into uh, Unreal Engine. So it was really exciting. And then once I got the second one, I've still not managed to get the two to work together. I've just only sort of figured it out. But I also don't have a lot of space. As you see, this is the biggest room in my house. It's like 10 by 18. So it's not something that's going to work really well. I was thinking maybe I could go and capture this outside, but I'm not sure. Uh, how to power stuff on my back patio. Also, I'm not sure I want the neighbors to watch me like doing kung fu in the backyard. The third option for using the Kinect uh, that I found is iClone. So iClone is a software suite. They have a plugin for the Kinect, but it, I don't think it's been updated in two years and the reviews are kind of iffy. Let's be honest, I didn't do a lot of complicated things in that short film. I just kind of stood there and went like this, or sat in a chair and went like this. I'm hoping to do a short with iClone and uh, using the Kinect. And it's just really two guys talking again, just a little more complicated and hopefully a little bit nicer. So there's a couple of different options uh, if you want to do some kind of motion capture. And some of them are sort of affordable. Um, there's, I mean, there's the classic kind of get a suit on way of doing it, and uh, you've got the options like Rococo, which runs for about 2500 bucks. People seem to like that quite a bit. Uh, there's something called Perception Neuron from a company called Noitum, which is motion backwards, Noitum. Uh, that runs, I think, about 1500 bucks for just the bodysuit. And then there's XSENS, which is one that people rave about, but it's, I think it's like $20,000. So uh, if you have that in your wallet... Uh, then there's this uh, company called Radical, and they're using AI to just, essentially you upload a video, their magical computers uh, analyze the video and spit out a BVH or an FBX file that you can take and put it into uh, Unreal Engine or whatever you want. And that's super cool. Uh, I don't think it's like 100% there yet. It looks like there's a little bit of foot sliding going on in some of the clips. But for a lot of things, it's probably, like, fine, and it's really affordable. All right. I said a lot of stuff. I cut out a lot of it because I was just talking like I was crazy or drunk or high or something. I'm not any of those things, unfortunately. But uh, thank you for watching another Cheap and Unreal. Uh, my name is Elvis, and uh, have a good... It's Canada Day tomorrow, so uh, 
if you're Canadian, have one of those. If you're not, I don't know, do something else.